Hello friends, how are you doing? Sorry it took me a long time to get these videos together, but you know, I was chatting with family and we're in the cheese. We were in the cheese, okay? Um, I hadn't talked to my brother in a while and I was, we we're shooting the shit. <clears throat> and I talked to my sister-in-law and now uh, here I am, I'm ready. Okay, <clears throat> so why are there so many gray areas around North Carolina, okay? the um the letter the note if anything happens to me or anything happens to my daughters i didn't hurt my daughters or whatever okay clearly it was staged we know that but why is there so many gray areas on the first time the girls went to the beach okay was shanann's mom there or was she not because in some reports she was at work and she wasn't there but we clearly see her there in the video Okay, also, <clears throat> was Chris's family also there at the beach? Some reports say they were, that they had a rental, like a condo there that they were renting. And that's actually where they stayed, uh, Shanann and the family for uh, Shanann and her kids and Chris for a few days. Some places doesn't even mention that. It makes it sound like they came straight from Aberdeen to the beach and then went straight back. So why is there such a gray area on who was there at the beach with the girls and who wasn't? And then some reports say that they were, that the Watts family, that Chris's family was turned away at the beach and Chris was not allowed to see them. So what, what so what happened? You know, like there shouldn't be no gray areas. That's why I always think that maybe foul play happened in North Carolina. I know that's going to sound crazy like craziness but please hear me out guys hear me out i'm not here to fight with anybody i'm just telling you or just things that i've noticed okay because now we've we know enough about the case that we could put it all together and we could all make different decisions on it or have different opinions now that we've pretty much know the whole story inside and out some of us do you know but look hear me out the lack of social media posts from Shanann and Shanann went to North Carolina to apparently save money on child care so that her family can help her with the kids um, and, you know, to network in that side of the country. Okay. Okay. So she didn't really network while she was on that side of the country. As a matter of fact, she didn't post much. I think she had one meetup. So anyways, that always stuck out to be that. So anyways, so why is there such a gray area on what happened in North Carolina and the lack of posting, which that's her livelihood. That's how she networks. That's how she gets people is, you know, to buy the product, the Lavelle product is by posting. And she had very little posting, you know, in North Carolina, which was the whole point. And what happened to all the money? I believe she got paid every Monday okay from Lavelle <clears throat> and what happened to all of her paychecks you know like they they weren't paying the mortgage in May June is when they somewhere around that area is when they stopped paying it which is coincidentally you know June was the time I mean I don't know like what happened to all the money that's unaccounted for they didn't pay for child care they didn't pay for groceries because the families were paying for groceries they didn't have they didn't have to pay for hotel rooms or rentals you know so what was going on there where did all this money go you know there's just a lot of unanswered questions and i'm just wondering if any of y'all know please feel free to answer below